it's Johnny Campbell here, the Transition Man, owner of RiseUpAndWin.com, and I created this video here all about Gary V. What I want to talk about here is some of Gary V's success principles. These are the kind of principles that Gary has been sharing throughout all of his videos, and I'm really excited to talk about this because I feel truly that I talk about things that are practical as well, but I'm also very pragmatic, and when I hear Gary's advice, I'm like, wow, that guy is spot on but there's so much more to that story that I really want to share with everybody so that everyone can kind of take from what he has said and add this little piece to it, then I'm sure it's going to even add more impact and more value to your current business and your current life. Now, one of the things that Gary always talks about is to work hard and to hustle. Now, I've heard that said many a times before, but I want you to really think about what does that really mean? A lot of people can work hard and hustle and still fail. And they can fail simply because sometimes they don't have the capital, they don't have the connections, they don't have the opportunity, it could be bad timing, there could be a host of reasons why hard work could still cause them to fail. It also could be because they don't really have the necessary talent to succeed as well. So these are all possibilities and factors. But let's just say, for example, that those aren't your real reasons. You are hustling and you are working hard. The question is this, what are you actually working on? See, a lot of times when it comes to your success, when it comes to working hard, you've got to be working on activities that produce bottom line results. If you're out hustling, you've got to be meeting clients and customers. If you're working hard, you've got to be working hard on the bottom line, which is revenue. You have to work on things that are measurable and monetizable. If you're working on things that aren't measurable, that you can truly see a money result from, you're wasting your time. To work hard is to work on things that produce in your business and in your life. If you've talked about family, talking about friends, if you put in the work, then you expect a return from that. If you don't get a return from that, then you're working on the wrong things. Working hard in a business, working hard on your life is about producing results. Not just feeling good, but to produce a real result. So I want you to think about that when you tell everybody you're working hard and hustling. Are you working really hard and hustling on things that produce revenue and money and sales? and happiness in your life? Or are you working on things that really don't produce that? So I want you to think about that. The next thing I want you to also talk about here is about happiness. And one of the things that Gary talked about was about some people have startups where they're not really producing any revenue and they'd really be better off being a, a four, five, or six in someone else's company. Well, here's something I want you to kind of think about here if you're pondering that. First, you may truly be a one but you're just doing the wrong things every single day. In other words, you could truly be a one, but here's the reality, and here's really what happened to me first. I want to tell this story. I first tried to, and I like to say the word tried, is I tried to be a part of a startup. See, I was a one in my own company. I got involved with some guys. We did a startup, and now I became a four or maybe even a five in this company here. The problem was, at least in the beginning, it was great. But as the company started to grow and build, people don't come to a four or five to get advice, to do business, to get results. They go to the one who's in charge. That's who they go to is the one. And what I found out, being a one on the inside, was that I wanted to be that person making those decisions and giving that direction. So eventually, it did not work out for us because our company actually failed and kind of went under but I realized during that process that I was really a one. And the problem was I didn't have the right team around me when I was first doing my business. I didn't have the right people around me to help me promote my products and services at the level that I should. And sometimes in your life, I want you to think about it. Secretly, you probably still are a one, even if you go work for somebody else. And here's how you know. If you feel disgust, if you feel frustrated, if you feel anxious that you can do it better, then you probably should go out and continue to be a one. But you can't always go and become a five, six, or seven, or even a 21st in a company and make a lot of money, probably. But if your heart breathes entrepreneurship, then you want to be a one. And you just need to reposition yourself, having people around you that can support you and encourage you and be there to help you grow and build your business. So if you're a one, I say stay a one. And then the next thing on there, we talk about self-awareness, but we also talk about his my, Gary's attitude about if there's somebody that looks like you, then you have an opportunity to be successful, which is actually true. If there are other people in your, your race, your religion, 
your ethnic class, your gender that is successful. And you can look at them and say, wow, that person, I look like that person or I feel like that person feels, then I have a chance too. And that is true. However, that person you're looking at is probably well known and they're probably a unicorn in that industry, that marketplace, or in that space. They're a unicorn. And because they're a unicorn, they probably have the right opportunity, the right timing, and the right connections to get where they're at right now. For us, sometimes we don't have those things in front of us. So we have to be a little bit more resilient. In other words, what I want you to do is look at the person that you admire, but break down what they have done. Really understanding where you can actually duplicate what they have done. Some areas, we just can't duplicate what they have done. In other areas, we can. So I want you to look at what they've accomplished and see where you can duplicate their actions and activities. That's the start of you starting to pursue your own success. So here's what I want you to do. First, I want you to look at your landscape, your marketplace, wherever you are. And I want you to say to yourself, okay, I want to be more successful and I need to reach people and connect with people who are successful as well. So ask yourself these questions when it comes to connecting with people. And if you really want to connect with the people you look up to, answer these questions here. Say to yourself, who am I? What do I really have to offer in value? Wrong. What do I really have to offer in results? Who am I and what results can I offer to the person that I want to connect with? See, here's the world that we live in today. You can reach anyone, but how they react and how they respond to you is dictated based on who you are and what results you're willing to offer to them. So we can admire people and we can even want to connect with those people hoping that they can help us. But the reality is it is on us at the end of the day. We look at them as a model, but then we look at our marketplace and we say to ourselves, who in my marketplace that I'm currently in? that I can connect with, that I can do business with, that I can model after. See, sometimes what we need in our life is not the unicorn, we need the every man in our life. Someone that does it every single day. Sometimes in life, that's who we actually need in our life in order to be successful. So I look up to people, just like Gary talked about, I look up to those people, but I model the people that work it every single day because those are the people who you can actually get real success and knowledge from. Finally, in this area of self-awareness, there's another aspect here. You have to understand what you are. A lot of times people don't really know what they are, so they do a lot of different things. When I started to think about this, and Gary talked about being a practitioner, so I came up with three areas here that I want you to think about. Are you a reporter? Are you a practitioner? Are you a marketer? And it's okay to be one of those right there. It's okay. If you're a reporter, then you just report on what success looks like, what people are doing. If you're a practitioner, then you are doing the work every single day. And if you are a marketer, then you are selling what people do every single day. It's important for you to pick a lane and figure out what you are. Now, some people have the blessing to be all three. But most people, if they can be two of those, then they are doing great. But very, very few people, and I say it this way, as a whole, most people are exceptional at one of those things. They can be pretty good at two and may be okay at all three, but very few have all three wrapped in one. So you have to ask yourself, what am I actually really good at? Report now on what other people are doing and how they're being successful and benefiting from that. Am I good as a practitioner at doing the work or am I good at really selling what other people are doing? You have to identify which of those three areas you fit. And once you figure out where you fit, you'll be happier. You'll be happier with your life, and you'll start to get happy about the things that you can produce in this world. So what I wanted to do here, everybody, is just create this quick video here, really kind of breaking down some of the things that I've listened to Gary speak about. And I wanted to share just some added value or added results to that those comments there. So if you like what you've listened to here, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I definitely share insights and ideas very pragmatically on how to get things done. Please be, feel free to comment below. I look forward to speaking and hearing from everybody who's watched this video because my goal is really to add to the conversation and to help people improve the quality of their life. My name is Johnny Campbell. I am called a transition man. I wish you all the best in your success and I'll see you in the next video.